Scott, St. Louisans were certainly no strangers to the summer heat, but this week we are reaching into that dangerous territory. Our Pepper Baker is live downtown with what you should be doing now to stay safe and keep cool. And drinking water and staying in the shade are really good tips that apply to everyone. But these rising temperatures are really going to impact people who are living without air conditioning. I'm sweating out here and I'm sweating in my house. George McDonald has been living without air conditioning for five months. I got a pregnant woman living in the house with me. I got a baby on the way. I can't bring no newborn in the house and it's 102 degrees outside, but it feel like 188 degrees in my house. Several people living in the Pleasant View Garden Apartments in Ferguson who didn't want to go on camera said they're also dealing with the same problem. I just been sitting in the house together with about four or five different fans going and you know that's going to run up with the electric bill. Gentry Trotter with Cool Down St. Louis gets daily calls from people living with broken air conditioners. We tell them to go to the landlords first and make sure that those landlords accept the responsibility that's on the lease that they're supposed to help them with cooling and heating year round and if they don't then they need to call the station. I went down there and told them personally I put the order in can y'all come down here and fix my air. They still ain't do it. Trotter says the most at risk for heat related illnesses are the elderly, people with disabilities and children. It's always a good idea to check on your neighbors. We want you to go to their house. We want you to feel them to make sure their body is not overheated, to make sure their electric is on, to make sure that their air conditionings are in good working conditions and make sure those filters are clean. Trotter suggests staying with neighbors or friends who have air conditioning or visiting one of the cooling shelters listed on the St. Louis City and County websites. Do what you can do to stay out of the heat so you can beat the heat because the heat will beat you. Cool Down St. Louis has uh, applications available on their website for anybody in need of utility assistance. And the city of St. Louis also has a list of designated cooling shelters that you can find on their website. We have all that information available on KSDK.com. Live in St. Louis, Pepper Baker, 5 on your side.